How you doing everyone? We're live from SEMA 2019. We're in the green ball booth. What we have on the side of us, the man himself, Rick Dewey, aka Dune Whore. He's gonna break down his builds that we have currently on display in our booth, a 2019 Ford Raptor and a Can-Am build that is extremely amazing. I really want you guys to watch this interview and just take notes. Let's get to it. Now we know that you have a long-standing relationship with Green Ball Tires as well as Canadi Tires. So we just want to get a, how do you feel about these tires? I mean, how have they been treating you out there? So we started this relationship. I think I've been with you guys for about a little over two years now. Okay. Um, zero issues. And that means zero issues on the truck tires, all makes, so I've tried them all. Um, I've had zero issues on the side-by-side, -side, not even a flat in a 1600 mile trip in Mexico for six days. Um, and zero issues or flats or blowouts on my trailer. All right, now behind us we have this awesome build, this Can-Am. This thing is amazing. Why don't you tell us what you guys did to this thing and just let us know what all sponsors helped make this build possible. So, <clears throat> we say sponsors and that's like a weird word for me, right? Okay. Because um, I usually put skin in the game, right? So, I'm one of the partners at utvsource.com. Um, it's an online website where you can buy everything that's on this car or on most of the side-by-sides. This car in particular obviously is a little different than most, a little nicer maybe because it's my car and I kind of like certain things and I like to be a little different, but uh, this car has a Fabworks cage on it. Um, this is the Baja Aggressor cage, removable window nets, top of the line build, um, removable window, removable light rack. Uh, it's also equipped with uh, touchscreen GPS systems, backup camera systems. We have custom PRP seats with custom stitch that are heated, <laughs> added memory foam. Uh, it's got a Rockford Filesgate stage five sound system in it. Things insane. All the communications in the car are from rugged radios. So I have car to car communications, car to driver communications, base to camp communications. Um, and it's got a lot of power performance from Evo, so it's got a stage three kit, um, exhaust, an open header actuator exhaust system called the Shocker as well, so I can go from quiet to loud and add more horsepower. Nice. Clutch kits, I, I mean, it's got everything. It's got a HCR long travel kit on it, an Elite. A lot of Zollinger racing products on the car, machined parts, um, custom back half, custom bumpers. Uh, the shocks are done by Shock Therapy. It's called a gold package, so they blow the shocks inside and put it to an eight port IBP system. So the car is extremely capable. I mean, it looks really nice, but this car actually has 2000 miles on it, all off-road. Um, and that's part, partly because I work with a company called Shine Supply. And uh, yeah, he helps me take care of these vehicles. And uh, I mean, everything that you see on this car, from the KC highlights to the wheels, tires, everything on it you can get at utvsource.com. Can-Am, you know, you guys really outdid yourself with this one. All the guys that made this thing possible, we just want to say you a big thank you for allowing us to display this vehicle in our booth. Now, on the other side, we have this beast bohemoth of a truck, <laughs> this Raptor. So we're going to go ahead and give you guys a little insight on this, this yeah. amazing build right here. So what have you done to this thing so far? So, um... I had the privilege to work with Team Ford Lincoln here in Vegas. It's a 2019 uh, Ford Raptor. Basically, um, I put about 200 miles on it with that new live valve Fox system. I didn't like it personally. So uh, we started off basically with a stage five Icon kit. So it's a uh, all new 3.0 coilovers, fin reservoirs, adjustable compression knobs, um, bypasses in the rear, bump stops in the rear. Basically, Everything on this truck from Icon is a complete system, not just a shock. So the rear cycles just under 18 inches of travel, all bolt in. Front stock right around 14. We uh, took the shocks apart. I had them Cerakoted magnesium Ducati. And then we changed all the black anno to gold anodized. And then we used Shine Supply, who came out with the product because of the things that I do. It's called Beadlock. So it's a uh, ceramic spray for your wheels, your shocks, your undercarriage to keep things nice. This truck has 7,000 miles on it. It looks better than a brand new one. This truck looks amazing. People have been, you know, I, I know when we first came here, we were so worried about people putting their hands on this thing because it's so amazing. We wanted to keep it in, in pristine and condition. Though. So let's go over here, Jose. I want to... I want to give a, a, another angle of this amazing build, and Dunhor is going to continue explaining to us. 
Yeah. Now let's let's move on down before we do any more. Let's go ahead and talk about these icons and armor hearts you got on here. Okay, so we got the Icon 3.0. It's part of their Stage 5 kit for the Raptors and the upper arms, and we also went ahead and Cerakoted all that stuff um, and re-anodized it and then beadlocked it as well with wheels from Icon. We got the brand new Armor Hog from Kanadi. So I don't have much time on these. These are a brand new tire. This is brand new. I think this is like the first set. Uh, I've got like six miles on them. Um, and just from the drive here on them, it was smoother, quieter. It's a little bit heavier tire, but it's an F-rated tire, so that's for a heavy, heavy, heavy duty truck. Um, they look amazing. I've had the trail hogs, I've had the the all terrains, I've had them all, and uh, like again, I've never had a problem with them. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. My uh, my good friend Ricardo, he is an owner at RFS Motorsports. They specialize in aftermarket interior for high-end cars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, um, and so on. So we ended up doing a uh, Rolls-Royce headliner, fiber optic headliner, all in suede. They did the A pillars in suede and stitched in the handles in suede, the B pillars, the C pillars, all in suede in fiber optics. It runs off a remote control. So, so is the colors changeable? So we can color change it, we can strobe it, we can leave it on one color, we can dim it, we can brighten it. It's all controlled off of a remote control. Let's show, let's show the fans at home just how Dune Horse riding. <laughs> Tell Batman when he's looking for his next truck, tag Dune Whore. So, so what, what do you what do you have uh, in, in your mind next? What do you see yourself building next? And I, I know you have this addiction. You can't stay away from too long. Is there anything special project you have coming up next that you're thinking about doing? So I have a build that's already started um, every year during my birthday. I, uh, I look for a certain vehicle. It's been about seven years. I've been skunked. This year, uh, one of my good friends, his name's Dustin DeLeon. He's from... Uh, He's one of the original guys from Gas Monkey Garage. Him and Aaron Kaufman left. They both started their own thing. So Dustin and I are building, or Dustin is building me a uh, 1994 Chevy OBS single cab fleet side. And uh, my intentions are to take it to the Hoonigans. And just- Shout out to the Hoonigans. Yeah. I, I've had so much fun here watching them and I've been able to go to their yard with all my toys and break them. So my intentions are same thing. We're going to put a hoon stick in this truck and uh, we're going to go blow the tires off a very nice truck that should be at SEMA. It'll be a SEMA quality truck, okay. but we're just going to go, I'm going to go beat the hell out of it. My man Doonhor just broke everything down for you as far as his UTV Can-Am and this amazing 2019 Raptor that will be picked up shortly by Batman himself. <laughs> so we just want to say thank you to everyone that watched. Thank you to all of our per uh, participants and everyone that helped make this event possible. So for Marvin and Doonhor at Greenball 2019 SEMA, Thank you guys for watching. You might see me in a race car soon. Rum, rum, rum. <laughs>